Hey, welcome to How's That Work with Luca. I'm Luca. Today we're going to be taking a look inside the Grand Seiko Spring Drive. It sounds fancy, because it is fancy. Imagine your quartz movement had a baby with your mechanical movement, and then that baby grew up to be a handsome, distinguished Japanese businessman. Not a businessman, a watch, there's a watch. Let's figure out how that works together. Now before we jump right into the Grand Seiko Spring Drive, first we need to have a general understanding of how your quartz and your mechanical watches work respectively. Now in your traditional Swiss lever escapement watch, which is 99% of the watches you'll see, there is a mainspring which is wound either through the crown or through the automatic rotor. That mainspring then delivers power through the gear train to what's called the escapement. The escapement consists of your escape wheel and your pallet fork. What the escapement does is it essentially allows a tiny release of power at any given time. If you didn't have this to regulate how much power is released, the mainspring would release all its power at once, your hands would spin really fast and make a fun noise, and then it would stop. You basically have the world's tiniest, most useless helicopter for a second. Now compare that to your course movement. Your course movement has your battery, which stores your energy. That energy is then delivered to a teeny tiny little baby computer called your integrated circuit. Your integrated circuit then electrocutes a quartz crystal. I know this sounds like I'm making it up, but this is real, it's how it actually works. It electrocutes a quartz crystal, which then vibrates. Your integrated circuit measures those vibrations, does some math, and then uses a tiny electromagnetic pulse to turn a rotor, which turns your hands. Now, if any of that doesn't make sense, we've actually got videos linked in the description that'll give you more detail. But for now, that's all you need to understand just how magical the Grand Seiko Spring Drive really is. Now, speaking of magic, that actually brings us to the most magical part about the Spring Drive, and that is the sweep of the seconds hand. It's the piece de resistance, the magnum opus, the city of brotherly love of the Spring Drive. And that is a direct result of how the spring drive functions. So where does this magic come from? How does it work? It's the name of the show, how's it work? I'm gonna tell you. At the beginning of your spring drive, it's basically identical to your typical mechanical movement. You've got your mainspring, which provides power. That mainspring then delivers power down the gear train. At the end of your gear train, there's what's called the tri-synchro regulator. It's a really cool name for a cool system, but what does it do? Well, your tri-synchro regulator consists of a few different parts. Where there would typically be your balance wheel, there is a wheel called your glide wheel. Your gear train is spinning your glide wheel. Glide wheel is just constantly spinning along in a little happy way in one direction. Mounted on your glide wheel is a permanent magnet. Now underneath your glide wheel is actually an electromagnet. It's a piece of metal with some copper wire wrapped up around it. Every time that permanent magnet passes over the electromagnet, it creates a tiny little bit of electricity. That tiny little bit of electricity travels up the coils to your integrated circuit. Now your integrated circuit will then send the electricity up to a quartz crystal. The quartz crystal will shake or vibrate or oscillate, if you will, at 32,768 hertz. That is a constant, that is, it's always how it works. So your integrated circuit will then measure that and using the measurement from your quartz crystal, will then send a little bit of electricity back down to those coils that I mentioned earlier, and it'll create a little bit of magnetic field. That little bit of magnetism will slow the glide wheel every time that permanent magnet passes over it. So you can kind of think of your integrated circuit as like a tiny little robot watchmaker that regulates your watch in real time. That's how you get the accuracy of a quartz watch with the renewable power of the mainspring of a mechanical watch. All right, so we've got the how it works, but we don't have the why it works. Why go to all this trouble of reinventing the wheel, of, of combining a quartz movement with mechanical movement into this wild, beautiful Japanese love child? I'm gonna tell you why that works. In your typical mechanical watch, one of the major pain points is your escapement. Your escape wheel, your balance wheel, your pallet fork, 
Those are all coming into contact very regularly, thousands of times a day. Every time they contact, they create friction. Any watchmaker knows friction is the enemy of precision watchmaking. That's why you have services on your watches to regulate that balance wheel, to regulate that, that interaction between those parts. So by eliminating that, you reduce friction, which in turn extends the service interval. That's pretty cool on its own, right? Now, from the other side of things, you have some of the strengths of your quartz watch coming in. So one of the real big benefits of quartz watches is they are extremely accurate. And that's because you have this quartz crystal, which is oscillating, like I said earlier, 32,768 times a second. Think about that versus the traditional four hertz that you get with a balance wheel oscillating. So it's, it's 8,000 times more accurate per second than what you're getting with a balance wheel. So you get that very, 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 very precise measurement that you can use to tell time. And that's what's cool about the spring drive. You get the robust, renewable power of a mainspring and a mechanical watch. You get the torque from that powerful mainspring, but you get the accuracy of a quartz watch and you have the little computer that will regulate it and make sure that your watch is running accurately all the time. So that's how the spring drive works. You get the awesome renewable energy of a mechanical watch, you get the accuracy of a quartz watch, you get this sweet seconds hand sweep that's its own thing completely. And uh, there we go. So that's, well, how does it work with Luca? I'm Luca. I'll see you next time, friends.